Prince Charles and the Duchess of Cornwall will become the first royals to visit Cuba. Camilla today confirmed that she and Charles would complete a historic trip to the communist country as part of their Caribbean tour this spring. During a joint engagement with Charles to the Supreme Court in London, the Duchess said she was looking forward to the Cuba's music and architecture. But she added she was apprehensive about the country's food. Court President Lady Brenda Hale said, they are going to visit the Caribbean. They are not only going to the Anglo-Caribbean, they are going to Cuba as well. She is very much looking forward to going to Cuba. It will be quite an event for members of the royal family to visit Cuba. She said she loved the music and was interested in the architecture. And she did make a remark about she wasn't so sure about the food. Last November, Charles met Cuba's new president, Miguel Diaz Cano, at Clarence House. Mr. Diaz Cano replaced Raul Castro as president in April 2018, marking the first time in six decades that a Castro was not in charge of the nation. Camilla's comments came as she and Charles met judges and other staff at the court to mark its 10th anniversary. Charles told court staff he thought the building, formerly the Middlesex Guild Hall, had been converted in a marvelously sensitive way. And the 70-year-old joked he and Camilla had caused a certain amount of disruption in a speech to staff before the pair left. He added, I hope it has given you a slight breather from all of the many cases and all of the difficult publications you have to deal with. Lady Hale presented the couple with teddy bears, appearing to suggest they could give them to one of Charles's grandchildren. She said, you might possibly know people who might enjoy them. A decade ago, the justices moved out of the House of Lords and across Parliament Square to their new home which had undergone a two-year renovation to restore many of its original features. The establishment of the Supreme Court was a landmark moment in the nation's constitutional and legal development, separating Parliament from the judiciary at its highest level. The justices sat for the first time as a Supreme Court in October 2009.